Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're checking out linear interpolation. Basically, it's part of our Mitsubishi Servo uh, training series and the subject's going to be linear interpolation and for that we're going to need additional servo. So that's what you probably, if you have watched the last video, you probably saw already, I have additional servo motor and, uh, oh, didn't show, but I have additional servo amplifier. And as you probably know already, uh, the card, the one we're using here, the Mitsubishi FXDU card, can accept two servos and they can manage, the card can manage two servos. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be checking out linear interpolation. To briefly explain what linear interpolation it is. So if you look at the x-axis in here and you can have y-axis in here and you can tell both axes the target, the destination. Let's say one would be, let's say we're checking out in a minute, one would be 500, another one should be 1000. So the uh, PLC will automatically will calculate the time when both of those axes will come to a one point together and stop there. So that's pretty much what linear interpolation is. So it's basically both axes come to one point within the same time. So it could be different speeds how it gets there, but it's definitely about the, 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 the goal, main goal is get to the one point uh, at the same time. So uh, that's what we're going to be checking out today guys If you missed out all the other videos and you're thinking what the hell is going on do check out the playlist We have covered quite a lot. I mean there's Loads and loads and loads still to cover uh, But I will leave a lot of it for you guys. I was thinking that a lot of the things that I think should be covered and give you a sort of an idea of what the, what it is and how it works So that's what we're going to be covering and uh, there's uh, some other points that I want to cover I had the other comments coming in people asking me can you cover the the IOs for the for the for the FX3U card and uh, also IOs for the servo. So yes, I will be having a kit coming in in the future because there's a project I'm working on. But I'm still waiting for a whole lot of parts to come in to show it to you. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're doing today. So guys, if you uh, want to see the previous videos, do check out the playlist. So uh, all the manuals and everything else that I believe they will benefit you in any very possible way. Definitely check out the description below. I have left the ton of uh, information uh, when it comes down to regarding manuals for you to uh, explore and find out some good ideas. We can build whatever equipment you want to build. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Before we go ahead, I quickly show you the additional servo amplifiers. You can see down there, I've got both amplifiers in here. The only thing you need to do, obviously, uh, everything stays the same as we did the previous one. It's just you can see down there, I've got this fiber optic cable which goes from a CN1B, it goes into CN1A, and that's the only thing you need to do. And obviously, you can uh, do all the same things with the second one using a uh, MR configurator for testing purposes. But for the setup, don't forget, only FX configurator works to set up this card with these specific uh, amplifiers. So, do make that. Uh, uh, as, as, as a main thing to know. So that's all. only thing we do in here, just, just run that, run that, not fiber optic. So basically it joins up and a controller will be able to understand them. So that's what we did there. As for the programming, uh, when it comes down, well, you're gonna have to activate, activate a couple of bits. And as you can see down here, you have a linear interpolation and uh, you can do it separately away from the table. I've never done it, so I presume you would need both starts from Y and X. Not sure, but I don't know why would you wanna go for separate linear interpolation. Maybe there's some uh, ways you would want to do that. But I obviously I'm gonna be working with table operation. We need to make sure our table operation is in simultaneous. So that's gonna tell the controller start both servos at, at the same time. So they're gonna be working more or less together. And I'm gonna be using ABFM 518s. Uh, uh, buffer memory start command at B9. And that's pretty much uh, that's all of there is going to be regarding to start up this operation. So that's when it comes down here regarding programming. Everything is already in program. We've done that in the previous uh, previous videos. And in here, as you can see down here in the list, come down to a linear interpolation. By the way, guys, the interrupt, interrupt the video. I will do the interrupt video soon, but not at the moment because, again, I'm waiting for the kit to show it properly. I could do it, like, badly, but I, I just don't like doing bad. I just like to show it too properly. So you can see down there, there's all sorts of uh, y-axis and uh, x-axis uh, together, interrupt and blah, blah, blah. You can do so many things that you cannot do. As you can see later on in the next video, we're going to have a look at this uh, 
circular, inter, uh, circular inter interpolation and uh, check out what is the CN, uh, CNT, NCW and things like that. So uh, so for us in uh, linear interpolation, so let's create another address in uh, linear inter interpolation. So we go in, it opens up straight away. The, the dominant speed is going to be a uh, uh, X axis and Y axis was just going to adapt to it to get to that position. So uh, let's let's just say these guys, once they reach that position, uh, they will have to come back to zero once they've done that. So we're going to change that one too, so we can see it more. Let's let's change that to 500,000. So one, two, three, four, five. 500, yeah, there we go. And as usual, guys, do not forget the uh, end instruction. If there is no end instruction, your uh, uh, server is just not going to work and the errors will be appearing. The red light is going to be flashing on your FX3U card. So once you've done that, so uh, let's write to uh, the module. Make sure that, because uh, at the moment, as you can see, I haven't uploaded downloaded anything from the uh, uh, controllers itself. So I'm just only working with uh, XY uh, tables. So do make sure that you are the only one sending in if you don't want to overwrite all the other stuff, uh, all the other settings or uh, parameters and things like that. So uh, let's send that in. And we jump on the screen and have a quickly look at it, how that really works in real life. It would be nice to have linear linear drives, but linear, uh, uh, not the drives, but uh, linear systems in there, but I don't have it at the moment. Soon I will. So we're able to show a bit more about it. So right, that, once that is in, so let's jump on the actual screen and check out how that works. So let's check out how that works. Let's start up both servers. Uh, what we need, uh, X, uh, as you can see down there, table X and Y. That's how I marked it up. So activating that bit that I just showed you. And from there on, all you need to do is click the start. As you can see, both the, the first first position was sort of a so you both as you can see they both work in tandem with each other to get to the same uh, same point together. Uh, the uh, x axis got 200 and the y axis more or less adapts to it. So, it's, so I should have put another speed in there so I can see what the y axis is doing. But pretty much that's where it goes to the position and uh, and uh, because you're not using the M code, it it, it quickly activates the next position. So. Uh, so you can see, the other one is spinning faster than uh, the than the uh, one is spinning faster than the other one, pretty much. So uh, let's try it again. So see, and, and that's pretty much, ladies and gentlemen, this is what uh, what it is, what is a linear interpolation and how it's set up in Mitsubishi drives. Uh, hopefully, that's giving you some good ideas to get yourself started. Remember, guys. This this programming style what we're doing here is not really the the way you program it. It's very show you what is possible to do it and how you structure your program is very much down to you. Uh, how you're gonna do it from uh, from from uh, what's it called the, the 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 practices the correct practices of doing it. So this is just a demonstration of what it is, how it works, and from there on, uh, I'll, I'll be glad to see how how you come up with some good good stuff. These uh, servo drives, servo motors are not that very expensive, so you can really create some crazy projects so that'll do ladies and gentlemen if you like the video don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you uh, like what we're doing here and obviously if you want to support us in any possible way so uh, yeah so uh hopefully it helps you out and thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video